Hello guys and uh, welcome to Muncie, Indiana. We are here at Urcha. Um, last day of the event, uh, fine-tuning this uh, whiplash turbine and trying to see if we can uh, optimize all the settings with the programming and all that to make it fly really nice. Um, I'm gonna do a little demo and show you guys how it works, how you start it and everything like that. Uh, it's designed by Joseph Miniature, Miniature Aircraft uh, USA based out of Germany and the uh, it runs a Ren turbine that's a 44 or you can fit a 45 the new engine in there um, it's designed to fit the engine like a glove in the front very nice it has protection around the engine and all that with the frames it has a, a secondary stack here with another clutch so there's a there's a clutch in here in the engine and there's another one in here uh, and then what else it has a 32 ounce tank right now with a little header tank that people use to get rid of bubbles for the turbine and uh, in the future I think it might have a second tank on the other side just like the whiplash electric it'll have two tanks one on this side one on that side to double the flight time right now it flies about seven minutes with this setup and uh, it's a very agile machine I'm gonna start it up show you how it works and I'll fly it around you can see what I'm doing and uh, see how you like it so what we do is uh, we turn the radio on to start this up. This is a Kero start, so you don't need any propane or anything like that. Make sure the switch is all in the right position. We're going to plug in the turbine first uh, turbine battery. Okay. And this uses a small 1600 battery. It's probably good for about two flights. You can put a bigger one. In the future, I plan to make a generator to sit in the front because it's the same setup as the whiplash gasser. Um, and it would drive right off the start shaft over here, which would be for the gas or nitro setup. And then you would be able to turn the generator and charge the batteries. Okay, so that's on. We turn on the switch, initialize the axon. Okay, and it's good. This is my captain rescue. And there's my forward back, right and left. Tail rotor is working. Okay, to start this unit, We'll come around here and show you guys. So the throttle stick is down. Throttle hold is off right now. You go into idle up one, and then you throttle up and back down. And that starts the, uh, the sequence to start the engine. So it's pumping the kerosene in and then there's an igniter that you can hear that's clicking and then as soon as it catches the blades will start to turn. sit on top of the hot air for a long time in the same position they can start melting it's hot and uh, we're gonna throttle up and this is idle up one that's sort of like normal mode we fly normally in idle up two take off Okay, here we are at 2,000. This thing has plenty of power. I think it has around 13 degrees of pitch, I want to say. And if I add full collector. So 
time before we see that. Now it flies very similar to my gasser. It's lighter than my gasser. I think it's about a pound lighter probably. We don't have the agility turned up as high as I do with my gasser. I think it's only about 12. I run about 15, 16 normally. But it's pretty good. So this turbine is pretty good. thing is a little bit lighter than my gasser, so I have to like compensate for the collective. When I move the collective, I have to move it a little bit less. Usually when I fly electric, I'm always climbing when I'm doing rolls, because it needs less throws. So I'm trying to get the right timing. I'm usually better than this, but I'm not used to it 100%. There we go. This is a little better. So actual rolls, right? Does the same thing just like any other engine even though it's a turbine you can hit throttle hold it goes to flight idle now i'm dropping in quick but i don't have to i can slow it down see that and then drop in a little bit more just like my gasser add collectors add 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 there you go ease it in right so now i'm back to idle idle up two is still engaged I just landed, so what I do is I flip back to idle up one because I'm gonna sl slowly throttle up just like a gas engine, that is a turbine, and then I release throttle hold, and then I can just throttle up again, and I'll be on my way. Passing the view for you guys. 
come. You can hear the engine. how it fell on. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. So just like any turbine, there's a delay when you throttle up. So you kind of have to be ahead of it. If you need to bail out, just be like two, three seconds ahead so that you can take a couple of seconds for it to come back up, but it will. Just release throttle hold and it'll just come right back up. So now we landed. We're gonna let it cool down a little bit. We'll take a walk and see what we got for fuel. I'm still in the, I can go to normal mode now. And uh, that means when I release throttle hold, it'll kill the engine. But right now I'm just gonna let it run for a minute to cool down a little bit. Take a look. tank is empty and there's about a half of the header tank left you can see that in the back and, uh, I have another few seconds I can let it idle it's not a problem and then once I release the switch it'll just shut down and then it'll go into the cooling cycle so we'll shut it down just release that Now you'll hear it like keep cycling on and off and that's what it does to cool the engine down to lower the temperature of the turbine. There it goes. It just runs the fan and it keeps doing it back and forth. It gets less and less frequent as the temperature drops down and then it just stops doing it. If you do need to cool it quicker, you can throttle up while it's doing this procedure and that will keep it running continuously. You just do this. Now it's continuously running and that's a quicker cooling if your like, engine's too hot or you want it to cool quicker because you want to quickly refuel and go back for another flight and you're impatient or whatever. You can do that. That's an option. It uses a little bit more battery but it's not a big deal. You can put a bigger battery or have a generator on board or recharge it. So. Okay, just put the stick back down. And now you'll notice that it's gonna be less frequent because I cooled it more. It'll still do it, but not as much. It'll do maybe two or three more times and probably won't even do anymore. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, uh, you can go take a look. Miniature Aircraft USA. And um, this is better. I guess the sun's in my way here, the other side. Okay, so. You go to Miniature Aircraft USA website and then you can see um, uh, all the information about that and everything. I'm sure Joseph will put it up. It's not there yet. This is just the prototype model, but it's going to be available by the end of this year, I believe. So, Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, talk to you later. Thank you.